You know, sometimes there are a lot of things, and you don't, you don't, you don't see it in people who are like are happy all the time, or you, some people are always happy, but you don't see the the things that they're dealing with behind the scenes. You mm-hmm. know, oh, that guy's happy. Like, how do I be? How do I be? What he does, or how how do I be like him? Well, you first and foremost, like sometimes you will only see what's shown. Mm-hmm. But there's always struggle behind behind the happiness. There's always like, oh, you know, I'm going through this and you may not know it, but I'm putting up a face because that's how I want to go through this life. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't want to go like, oh, I can be sad about it. I can be angry about it. I we can present. Be, yeah. Um, but the way you exude yourself and if you and that that saying where it's like, oh, like, um, like put a smile on and then other people will smile and other people will smile. Mm-hmm. But that smile will come back around in a circle you'll be smiling you'll be smiling yourself because it's an actual smile mm-hmm. you know so i like i like that i like that you know you got to you got to behind the scenes you got to like take care of yourself too yeah i wish i understand now i heard it when i was younger but i didn't understand it um when people ask me from my past like what in the world how did you how did you yeah, do you that yeah you didn't you didn't you didn't say the second one um or, so do you want to share that one so the second piece, the second, I want to say the second awakening was, um, and I understand now mm-hmm. when you get to that level, that next mountaintop, wherever that is for you, whatever you're striving for, mm-hmm. when you get there, be ready for the next one. Okay. Like that's what I understand now. This unfolding is not just of mind or material things. It's a spiritual development. It's something that does not end. And so the journey is never over. Mm-hmm. Your lessons will never stop. I just understand. I get to choose how I walk through them now. Um, I have something I, I can tap into this thing and it's going to help me out. Hell yeah. <laughs> and it's for free. Yes. Um, so it was when I was 25. Mm-hmm. That was my second time <clears throat> into what people call recovery. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was like a really big turning point because I was gifted the opportunity to not have to work to not have to worry about like food in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was this awesome place. It's called Crossroads. It's here in Reno. And I stayed there for three months. It's a recovery, sober living community. Mm-hmm. And they do a lot of programming. Mm-hmm. And when I say programming, they teach you about cognitive behavioral therapy and how to reshape your thoughts. And um, they have other recovery avenues there. Um, I did nothing but focus on myself. I don't think we always get that gift in life to say, slow down world, you're going too fast for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to move in you. Can you slow down? No, you don't get that. And so that three months, I deep dived. Mm -hmm. That's when I would listen to my meditation thing every single morning, no matter what. That's when I learned moving my body. My body likes to move. It feels good. It was the one thing I could do. Nobody else could do for me to make myself feel okay in my own skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got this. And so I'm having these experiences and internally things are shifting. My belief systems, the way I was looking at myself in the mirror and practicing all these things I read of affirmation work, Mm -hmm. affirmative thinking. I was telling myself I love you in the mirror every day. And I remember the first time feeling so uncomfortable like what it that, that was a lie yeah thinking remember, about that too just like oh, yeah we could dead in the never eyes do that. dead in the eyes and i remember the day that it felt like truth and crying mm. i was like i see you i see you um so 25 was my step into recovery um i call i call my recovery now it's uh recovering from society recovering from everything that's mad in this world because working with others, I've learned it was kind of like a really cool tool sitting down with people in the fitness in the industry every single day of my life. You kind of have what I have. You're uncomfortable in your own skin too. You, you want to feel better? You want more confidence? Okay. So I was, I'm having my own experience. It's giving you the tools to work with the others. Mm-hmm. So I just have this understanding that we are all recovering from something when you're uncomfortable you learned how to use something to give you comfort or care when you're bored there's something that gives you comfort or care Mm -hmm. um becoming mindful 
of what your actions and what your motives are, mm. it's my process, my unfolding, at least for right now, and it might change. Um, yeah, because once again, we're made to evolve. We're made to expand. And once you expand your consciousness, and your consciousness is the term, it's your awareness of who and what you are in this reality. My awareness of who and what I am in this reality. When you expand that, it can't go back. So it's like a, like a, like a double-edged sword in my book. Because when you know so much, you're like, oh man, you can't go back there. You can't do that petty stuff no more. Yeah. Um, because you know too much. You know too much. You know better. Yeah. You know better and you do better. But if no one's there to show you that better or give you a tool along the way, mm-hmm. how are we supposed to grow? How are we supposed to change? How are we supposed to develop ourselves? And then not just share like, okay, here's a tool. Life can be really awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, now how do you use your tool? Nobody's out there showing people how to use these things. Nobody's taking the time to say, hey, when you're playing with your tool or you're practicing this thing, you're going to fuck up. And it's all good. <laughs> um, at least with people, my members and people I get to work with, clients, um, right out the get-go, let him know, like, hey, at some point in time, you're going to go missing like Jarek. Mm-hmm. Totally cool. But then there's going to be a time that you feel called. I'm going to be right here. No judgment. It's all good. Your unfolding is all good. Your development is all good. You get to choose the pace that you grow. You get to pay. Like, that's the, that's the beauty of all this is that you are in control. But it's not good nor bad. Um, it just is. It just is. It's it your journey. It just is. Yeah. That's mm. the word of the day. It just is. 